Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, we're going to talk about the five things you must have for your nighttime fishing trips. So when you're out there in the dark, the biggest obstacle that you're facing is being able to see. Um, so my first item, number one, is lights. You need some kind of operational lights for wherever you're at, whether you are fishing on a boat or on the bank, having some type of light so that you can see what you're doing, see what's going on around you, is the number one thing that you need to be packing. Now I know for some folks, uh, they don't like to use a lot of light. They're afraid it scares off the fish. And that's fine, I understand that. We'll get to what you need here in a second. Uh, but for the rest of us, I like to have some light in what's going on. One of the things I use on my boat is a light that is submersible in the water. It's made by Lumacy. It does two things. One, it brings in plankton, which brings in bait, which brings in fish. Uh, the other thing that it does is it lights up all my rods. So I can actually go with minimal lighting on the boat. Uh, I'm still able to see really good. I can see my rods uh, because the less light, honestly, that you can get by with, the better off you are because you're able to see better, retain some of your night vision. All right, for you guys that don't want a lot of light, item number two is something that you need to have. And I use one all the time when I'm out there at night. I also use it hunting. I use it when I'm working. And that is a headlamp. Uh, a headlamp is more than just a flashlight. It is something that you don't have to hold on to. The downside with having a flashlight uh, is it's tying up one hand while you're doing something over here. You got hands tied up. Have one. Make sure you got some extra batteries. They are such an invaluable and affordable tool. You can get these things for 10, 15, 20 bucks. You can get really nice ones for a lot more money. But having a headlamp uh, really frees you up. It frees your hands up and it gives you some light in the direction that you're looking because it's affixed to your head whichever direction you're looking at up down around you can see what you're looking at so a very affordable tool a lot of variations to them i'll put some links down in the description below of some ones that i like but item number two you got to have a headlamp now one thing that i love to have when i'm night fishing is a lighted bobber uh, these things are very affordable. Uh, I'll put you some links out in the description below where you can get these things. They got a little battery inside of them, a little uh, hearing aid battery or watch battery. And you turn it halfway, it lights up, you can cast it out, you can see what is going on. I fish a lot of suspended baits at night in the summertime, uh, mainly because of the insects. You get insects that are uh, hatching and falling out of trees. You get a mayfly hatch that happens in June and July. Why do they call them mayflies when they hatch in June and July? I don't know, but we'll get into that another day. These insects are all over the water. Little fish are feeding on them. Bigger fish are feeding on those fish. So fishing suspended baits is a great thing. And having a lighted bobber helps. Uh, the thing with bobbers, if you've done any bobber fishing from the boat or from the bank, uh, these things will float around, drift around. If you're in current, you know which way they're going. If you're out there in the wind, they may be blowing back at your boat. They may be blowing away. They may be crossing up on another line. So having those lighted bobbers helps. And the ones I use have little rattles in them. They got a little ball in them. So when they get hit, you actually get to hear them too. So uh, it's good to, get, good to have them out there lit up. You can see where they're at. So get you some lighted bobbers. Now, one of the things I added this year, I actually upgraded. I had a small battery uh, that I was using to charge my cell phone and charge GoPro cameras if I needed to. But this year I added a bigger battery. It's got more wattage, it's rechargeable. Uh, supposedly this one will run for like 800 uh, recharges. Now I've used the thing just a little bit of time so far and I'm not even drained it down from its initial charge. It's at like 95% and I've only recharged my cell phone twice. Uh, you can also recharge, uh, cameras off of it, anything that uh, will charge off a USB charger. It also has a cigarette lighter plug in it, which is great. You can plug lights into that. You can plug a live well into it. If you've got one of the small bubblers uh, to aerate your base with, there's also a DC converter on one end of it that you can get power for a uh, computer, for a laptop or something like that if you're out there. If you're trying to live stream, uh, I'll probably be using it this year to do some live streaming while I'm out on the water. So this is a little bit of an advanced item. Uh, I'll put you a link below where you can check it out. It's over a hundred bucks, so it's not exactly cheap, but if you're out fishing a lot, especially fishing off the bank, or if you're out in a kayak, this is probably a good item for you to have. Uh, just because it already has all the adapters and modules in there. You can see how much battery you got left so you know what's going on. And all these various options there as far as being able to plug into 
comes in really handy. It's also a great thing for camping, also a great thing for hunting. Anytime you're away from any electricity, one of these things is a great little item to have. I decided to make this video because last night was my first big overnight fishing trip of the year, and I figured it would give me kind of a reminder of what all I would forget. And one of the things that I forgot last night that I want to remind you to take now, especially if you're going out in the summertime, is bug spray. Take some kind of bug spray. That time period right after the sun goes down and gets dark, if you flip on any kind of light or have any kind of illumination going on, bugs are going to show up. It's weird. They don't show up as bad later in the night, but that first little time period there, those first two or three hours are everywhere. They're painting about the irritating, aggravating. Make sure you have some kind of bug spray. Another thing that you can take is a thermocell. Uh, thermocells are a very cool device. Uh, I use them turkey hunting and deer hunting, and uh, they are a great way without having to cover yourself in something. It basically puts a mist into the air that keeps insects away, and I can tell you, they are very, very effective uh, when it comes to hunting. How uh, we turkey hunted and tried to sit still without moving, same thing deer hunting during those warmer temperatures, uh, warmer times of the year. How we did it for so long, I don't know. Probably why we didn't used to kill turkeys when I was a kid. Uh, but uh, these things are very, very cool. So either your thermocell for your bugs or some bug spray. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you another item that we really should have all the time, and I'm as guilty as anybody at not having this on me all the time, and that's a life jacket. Uh, life jackets will save lives. Most accidents that happen are totally unexpected, spur of the moment. And at night, that is even worse. And obviously, this is a big deal for you guys that are fishing from a boat, but depending on where you're fishing at from the bank, if you were fishing around dams, uh, ledges, uh, some of these concrete retaining walls and things like that, it might be a good idea to have one on. Uh, the guys in the boat, obviously, if you've been out there in a boat at night, you will know that there are all kinds of people operating boats. Some of them are sober, some of them are not. Some of them can see where they're going. Some of them have no clue. It's very easy to get hit at night. Uh, and the worst thing is, is when you're in the water, generally speaking, there's not that many people around. Same thing with you guys bank fishing in some of these precarious areas around dams and steep drops. Uh, you fall in the water during the day, there may be people around to help you or save you. But if it happens at night and there's nobody around, uh, it can turn out tragic. So life jacket, put them on at night. It's a great way to uh, make it home to your family. Well, guys, hopefully this gave you some good tips from night fishing. Everybody's getting out there now and uh, getting out on the water, getting out on the riverbank. So enjoy your fishing, stay safe, and go catch some fish. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. Uh, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.